Yo, what's up, bro? In this video, we're gonna be going over how to clear the angles on Inferno, all the pre aiming pathways, and yeah, I'm gonna be explaining as I go. So, first of all, we have this B side. Generally, you wanna peak B angles while being stuck to this wall. Obviously, this first coffin's angle you can peak from here, but then you wanna move towards that wall. Uh, the reason for that is you're less visible to CT, and if the guy CT wants to peek out and kill you here, he needs to peek out quite wide and your teammates can refrag you pretty easily. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We peek that angle as well, because obviously enemies can be here. You don't only wanna peek the angles that are placed here by refrag, you also wanna peek the other angles that you expect the enemies to be in. And if you see only the body of a guy, like, in a, this kind of a shit angle where he's exposed, you can pretty safely spray in the body as well. Obviously we're going slow. Oh, I fucked up, so I went back. Obviously, like, you can also increase the speed as you're getting better at it. I'm just going slow to show you guys how to clear all the angles perfectly. Take notice of how I'm moving my mouse as well. I'm gonna be readjusting my mouse to the middle pretty much with every single peak. I never have my mouse in any uncomfortable spots, right? What the fuck? Before we continue the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor Sell Your Skins. If you want to sell your CS2 skins quickly, easily and safely, then check out sellyourskins.com through the link in the description. You can sign in with Steam, click on the skins you want to sell, accept the trade and then you'll receive your money in just a couple minutes. They offer higher prices than other cash out sites and you can get paid through Revolut, bank transfer, PayPal and other various methods. You can also receive up to 5% more cash with the site ranking system. If you use the link in the description and my promo code PNX, you'll get extra 5% as well. Oh. So I pick this angle, then this angle, then this angle, right? I picked three different angles here. Now I pick this, this, and then the actual angle where the bot is. Gotta notice that because, you know, in the game you don't want to bet on the fact that people are gonna be standing in the exact spots that th that's the bots were standing. And yeah, it's talking too much. <laughs> Focus on explaining instead of actually clearing out the angles. So what you're going for here is that your crosser is already on the angle as you peek out, right? That's the most important part. Of course, I'm practicing these slow peaks. Later down the line, you can practice this faster, but that's the best way, in my opinion, to remember the angles, to go slowly with shift and then release shift as you peek. Here, people could be in pit, that's why I'm checking it. Oh, I fucked up. And notice this guy, I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't even see us if he's that close to the box. So they placed him in a really bad angle. And we got long here. Holy fuck, I messed up here. You should not start spraying like that. It's a pretty common angle. This one, boom. People stand here often. All right. So in apps here, pretty common for people to push up as well with like Mike sevens and stuff. So you got get really good at clearing those. Here I'm shift. I'm uh, here. I'm gonna be crouching and standing up with my crosser already on the angle, right? On these angles that you can stand up, instead of pressing W and S, it's probably better to do that. For example, here I can kind of stand up into the guy instead of counter strafing with S, and that's what I prefer. That's actually great they put this uh, banana scenario here for the CT side, because on CT pre-aiming is as important as on T side, although naturally you're gonna be holding more than peeking, but it's still quite important part of the game. If not the most important when it comes to taking the duels. Yeah, that I shouldn't be doing. Maybe in the game I would actually clear him pretty much the same way, but... 
one angle, second angle, and third angle. See, there's more angles that are there is shown here. Another angle, right? This is one angle. This is another angle. So you gotta notice how you should be cutting up those angles. I'm picking more angles, a lot more angles that that they show us here, right? So I'm picking this, now that, now the actual angle, now this, that, and that. Yeah, I should probably not spray this guy like that. Right, guys, but there you have it. So put this into practice. Ideally, you wanna open the video, go through one scenario with the video open. So first watch how I'm clearing the angles, then just go through the scenario, then watch another scenario, go through it yourself and start improving. Obviously, I'm not saying I'm doing them ideally, but this is pretty close to what you wanna be ideally doing in the end. So good luck doing this and yeah, more maps to come.